and now we've applied all of our bevels to the glass surface. Um, so now all we have to do is remove our stencil and clean it up. Make sure you have some paper handy, ready, ready to put your stencil, stencil straight on. What we, what we normally do, what we do do, is give the, give the stencil a wipe over to move all the adhesive from one side at least. stencils come in two sections, there's a long piece and a small piece for our, for our pattern, um, mainly because we just wanted to get extra length, you don't have to use the whole length, you can stop wherever you want, just peel the stencil off the glass. Good idea to clean up your stencil before you do anything, uh, because it's quite large and we don't want to get it over your house or the customer's house, so just using methylated spirits, shellite or adhesive remover. We're just going to clean all this excess adhesive off uh, both sides of the um, of the pattern. Now you might have noticed the tissues we use are a Kimberly Clark um, tissue, but the important part about it is that they're low lint or lint free, which means we don't get lint back all over our stencil and all over our job. Very important. And uh, the newspaper is uh, more a drop cloth, but newspaper because we can get rid of it pretty easily. Okay, we're going to like clean up. Now, what we've purposely done is we've uh, cured it a bit hard. So, if it's a bit hard, and because we're curing it from the outside, our pattern doesn't shade the excess adhesive because it's been curing from this side. The excess adhesive goes under, this, under the, uh, the pattern. So what we're going to do is uh, using a safety razor blade and preferably one that has the uh, unit that will keep your fingers as far away from the blade as possible is just slice and cut off this excess adhesive around the bevel. Now if uh, there are children putting it on, which um, they can do because it's quite a simple process, but when it comes to this process we, we recommend that uh, mum or dad or somebody who's okay with the blade will do this part. So we're just going to scrape away the excess adhesive and put it straight into a tissue or into a, a, a garbage bag or something like that because we don't want these getting warped on the floor or, or anywhere like that. Just take, that's all it is, just take that away. Be very careful with the razor blade. I only use the safety razor blades, and preferably the ones in the um, in the uh, covers. And just work your way around the bevel. Once you cut it, cut around the bevel like a knife, and then around here. Just go slowly because we don't want any um, any injuries with uh, with using the razor blade. Using detergent water, we're just going to spray the area using our 3M delicate scour. We're just going to go around, around the edge of the bevel itself, across the top, and we can. What the scour is doing is actually soaking up that excess adhesive into its uh, pores, and. As you're cleaning more and more adhesive off the glass, you can feel the, the actual scour getting thinner and thinner. So turn it over, use the other side, and change it regularly for a, uh, for a new one. And that'll keep the... or get the glass quick, clean quicker. Now what you might have to do, when you do a section, say this top section like this, um, we always clean from the, from the top down. After we've cleaned a, a section like this, good to get our, our tissues, wipe down this section, and what this does just sees if we've uh, left any adhesive behind. That means we have to go back and pay some more attention to it with the scour or the razor blade, and just go down the glass and uh, and clean it like such. You may need to do this one, two, or three times, depending on 
and be right for cleaning it up the first time. Bonding glass to glass has never been easier with Nano 470 white light curable adhesive. For the simple process of using a white fluorescent or compact fluorescent tube, you can create masterpieces on glass with optical clarity second to none. Here we've just have bubbles going down a shower screen. All with the use of a white light to cure and no ultraviolet light. With diverse patterns like shells, fan shells, cone shells, spiral shells, you can create masterpieces on any vertical glass surface.